Elena Dixon, your TV diva gal, and we're here with Ashma, Top Chef Season 6. Season 6, y'all. Great season. So, holidays are coming. Yes. You know, um, and we want to know, what are three dishes we can make for the holiday season? Using this fabulous new Bravo products, and wine, of course, because oh, yeah, we love wine. wine. Well, you know what's fun with wine? Uh, the wine, I can definitely say, like a cab. A lot of people don't do this with turkey, but they don't pair red wine. But if you make a good enough turkey, you make it stand up, like a nice herb butter on the turkey, you can, uh, you can uh, use a nice cab with it. But I would say more than that, like, it's easy to make a twist on classic holiday things. My biggest thing is you maybe take a, a pound of warm butter, Every herb you can find, like a nice rosemary, some basil, some Italian herbs, your favorite herbs, throw it in your uh, Cuisinart, blend it up, and rub that all over your turkey. Ooh. That's going to make the most herbalicious turkey you've ever had. It's going to be awesome. I love that. Okay, so what about when it comes to Christmas time and Christmas. Kwanzaa and Hanukkah? Is there a dish that we can make for all three? <laughs> a dish you can make for all three. For all three holidays. Well, for, for Christmas, Kwanzaa, and Hanukkah, I guess you can make hamatashin on rice pilaf with, uh, you know, Yorkshire pudding. But uh, but more, I always say a, a good go-to for me that I bring a lot of places. I bring like a homemade cranberry sauce or chutney or anything like that. Like it's a great condiment. It's a great side. Um, other ones like a, a, a tapenade, more bring the appetizer if you're not sure what what holiday you have to bring it for. Nice olive tapenade, super simple, and it uh, can always be kosher. So You guys have a new cookbook out as well that yes. can tell us how to make all these fantastic dishes. Not me, because well, we know TV Diva Gal don't cook, but we like to watch other people cook. Well, they're two, they're, the world's divided up into two people, those who should be cooked for and those who cook, and I, you may be one that should be cooked for, which is great. Yeah, the cookbook has all kinds of recipes from the last season. Uh, my recipe for um, chocolate bread pudding is in there, chocolate uh, peanut butter bread pudding, uh, but a lot of recipes, yeah. Is there any one chef from all the seasons past that you'd like to just take on right now with a holiday dish? Oh, wow. That's actually a great question. I'm kind of scared because I'm, I'm picking kind of a big guy. But I would love to take on Harold from season one because, you know, I mean, he's a good guy. He's a nice guy. He's handsome. And uh, I think that uh, I think I give him a run for his money. He's getting old. I love that. And the most important thing is where can we get all this great Top Chef stuff? Oh, you can check us out on bravotv.com.